Now, someone that is, you know, getting to the point where they're older, where it's difficult to build muscle mass because of their age, uh, is there still a possibility with this that this could help and assist that? Yeah, that's a little different. For that, that that scenario is best suited with the life product, which is uh, based on the changes that occur in muscle with aging and is effective. And we've actually shown both at heart failure patients as well as healthy elderly an improvement in uh, functional capacity, how fast you can walk, uh, how far you can walk in six minutes and, and other muscle strength things that we can actually have a consistent improvement in older individuals uh, that aren't doing any exercise at all. And of course, if there is exercise involved, then uh, you'd use the same scenarios that I just described. But the, the average older person is not doing much exercise. And that's what the life product is focused on to promote uh, muscle development and muscle strength. What you find with older people, though, is that you're not going to gain muscle mass just by taking amino acids sure, or, or sure. protein. You have to do some real resistance sure. training on top of that to, to increase your muscle mass. So someone like I've got a father who's got an injury. He's 86 years old. He has a shoulder injury, so he can't play golf anymore. Doesn't really do much. He goes to physical therapy for it, but he walks all the time. I should have him on the life product. Yeah, I think that's the, the life product is specifically designed for the older individual. Okay. Okay. That's great. Um, that's something I'm going to do. Uh, I, I don't have many more questions. I know I'm going to get off with you and I'm going to want to ask you 7,000 more <laughs> questions. So I, I might be sending them over to Freddie. Um, I, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your time. Uh, and, uh, and, think you're an amazing man and uh what you've created is awesome and um i knew about the marathons before and then somehow went through me and then we our last guest was a guy named ben uh, uh blue benedum who is a uh running coach for nike and he was you know right around running like you were and i was just blown away by it not like the fact that i've had two of you in <laughs> in the same week to talk to. It's incredible. Uh, cause I just know how fast that is. And, and CrossFitters out there have an aversion to running. Uh, if there's one thing they don't like, it's right. They, it's part of the sport. CrossFit is, you know, primarily made up of running, weightlifting and gymnastic movements. Uh, but whenever the running is involved, they run away. That's the one thing <laughs> they don't want to do. And, uh, I like it. I enjoy it. That's my favorite part of it, probably, because I have a track background. But uh, I know how incredible that those accomplishments are of yours. Um, I did look at too the 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 uh, the Clydesdale thing. They have moved it up to, uh, I believe it's now over two hundred pounds, and they're running a lot slower than you. Uh, three three oh six. Yeah, well, that's interesting because uh, my uh, run actually got me on the cover of uh, Runner's World magazine. So that's wow. one of my, one of my uh, favorite uh, sort of souvenirs is a picture of uh, me running on the, and, and it was an interesting deal because they came, I was in Galveston, Texas, and they wanted a picture of me running on the beach. And it turned out, but you know, it, it was like, picture after picture to where finally by the end of the day, I'd run about 10 miles up and down the beach <laughs> you know, trying to get a good picture, but it's a, it's a good memento of, uh, uh, well, that's, that's pretty impressive to be on the cover of runner's world magazine. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to make my friend Hunter who wants to break the Clydesdale record, uh, listen to this show. Um, but that was, uh, they, Oh, there's a, there's another argument that there was a guy that ran two fifty. Uh, at Boston that was around 200 pounds, but I guess he wasn't. He's probably right under it. Um, yeah. So uh, can't thank you enough. Um, thank you for educating the listeners about this uh, because, you know, we, a lot of us take stuff just based on, Hey, this is what you should take, but we don't know the why. And um, all the studies you've done, all the, all the patents you have, everything makes it, makes us feel a little better about what we're doing. So, um, I know I'm, I'm sold on it completely and, uh, it's a new part of my regiment and, you know, 
I like, I like to have as little supplementation in my life and try to eat as well as I can, but I travel a lot and I can't, and it's a really important part of my life. So thank you. Well, I enjoyed it. And th thanks for, uh, for, for having me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your work. And thanks for being on the show. And Freddie, thank you for, for putting this all together. Yep. Thank you. Freddie was very quiet today. Uh, well, well, I used to not today. be able to get a word in edgeways uh, from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, if they want to see more about the product, where, I mean, obviously, uh, aminoco.com. Yep. Aminoco.com. And um, they can find out everything they need to know there. Yep. That's the best place. Yep. Okay. Anything else? I think that's the best place to start. We have all our all our products have the clinical trials cited uh, just on the product pages and, and you know, they can reach out to us anytime and we can give whatever information would be helpful. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Thanks for being on the show and uh, thanks for listening everybody. Uh, that is it. You know what to do, rate, review, and comment and go to uh, that's on iTunes. And you can also listen to us on uh, Spotify and anywhere else you find podcasts and let your friends know. And uh, we'll see you out there.